The following is a comfortably zoned radio network production. Hey, Randall. How are you, sir? I'm good. I have Felix Milan on the line. I'm going to try to do a three-way. Hold on. Okay. Felix, are you there? Felix. Felix, are you there? Hi, uh, yes. Okay, I'm with uh, Ralph Jackal. You there, Ralph? I am Felix. You are one of my favorite all-time human beings, a New York Met. I am an original New York Met fan, and I can't tell you how appreciative I am uh, for making 1973 happen. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Um, I've been a good fan. Uh, well, I'm a good fan, and you and I both share something in common. I, and I'm just guessing this, but we made eye contact me going to San Francisco from New York, you going to L.A., we were both in line, and you were afraid of flying. Am I correct? <laughs> yes. All right. I knew it. We t- we nodded like, whoa, we're in line here getting on the plane. I'm deathly afraid of flying. This was back in about 1973. I live out in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. And... Um, uh, you were going to L.A. and then coming up to San Francisco after that. Um, yes. And uh, good years with the New York Mets. Um, thank you, Lenny, for bringing him to your show, Lenny Randall's Hot Corner. And, um, well, Ralph, here, here's the deal. I want to kind of do a show of Ralph Davis because he's like a mentor and an idol, you know, with me at the Met. He just... And the Willie Mays made me feel like I was at home with my brothers and sisters and family. And he was always an immaculate dresser, and that shocked me because he was like Ricardo Montalban of baseball. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to add, I, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. And, and I was tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Boss, boss, the plane. What I want to do is I want to get him hired today, tomorrow, in Florida or wherever, because he's going to be a part of our book tour, our film tour, our reality tour, and our what we're proposing right now, So, and radio show, and I want it on a regular basis, because he has so much history and knowledge from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and you know, Oakland A's, Dodgers, Mets, Atlanta Braves, there's a lot of rich history here. Oh. So when he comes up, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I just want him to honor the three Mets who are struggling, your former teammates. Um, and, and that, too. And yeah, he knows about Ed. He knows about uh, Ed Charles, who just died. Because we had a camp, Felix and I, yeah. and Frank Poole and Shamsky, and Boca Raton. And we had all, oh, these guys that are, all these guys that are sick right now were with us. And now it's like... This is within three year, five year span. We're going like crazy. I mean, health ended like crazy. You know, we try yeah, to I help went, you know. I went to see Cranepool. I went to see Cranepool about uh, two months ago. Uh, he's yeah. doing okay, but I hear that Buddy's not doing too good and Tom Seaver's not doing too good. No. You know, I, I'm very, very sad about that. Well, I, I understand Tom had Lyme's disease. And is recovering. Yeah. Is is this something new with Tom that he's not doing no, no, well? No, that's it. No, no, that's the one. I'm just okay, well, he is recovering. He's making uh, miraculous strides towards recovering. I'm worried about Rusty Staub. I'm worried about. I'm worried about all of us. You know, mortality yeah, sucks, yeah. and yeah. it's coming up on all of us. And um, it it's. Fooling with our candy store of yeah, I gotta reconnect because the phones are acting up. It's a brand new phone here. I got so hold okay. on. Okay, I'll call him back. I'm glad we weren't on air. <laughs> no, we are on the air. Oh, we are on air. Okay, yeah, hold on. it's all right. This is all. all right. Right. It's I'm all taping. Right I got it. Got it all covered. Um, everything okay. we say is being recorded. Is Felix still with us? Yeah, I'm gonna call him now. Okay, I'm calling him back right now. He went through that Puerto Rico storm, you know, that's kind of... 
Oh, they're nice enough to give some Lost people their electricity yeah. back. <laughs> this is a great example of how our country works. You know, there are more citizens of the United States in Puerto Rico than there are in um, in three Midwestern states combined. Here, Ralph, both of you. Okay, satellite. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah. good. Okay. We're, uh, Lenny and I are just bemoaning the horrendous way the United States has treated you and your people in Puerto Rico, Felix. Hmm. Uh, hmm. And um, I was saying that there are more citizens of the United States in Puerto Rico than there are in three Midwestern states combined. So that um, yeah. this is horrendous. The, um, I don't know what percentage of folks have gotten their electricity back at this point. Can you? In, in some towns, in some towns, uh, we, we had electricity, but uh, in others, like my hometown, uh, Jabucoa, it's not light. It's not a power or nothing over there. I'm really sorry about my town. It's uh, very, very sad. I am, I am too for you and for humanity. This administration, this is not a reflection of who we are as a people. This is. I had a right. talk, guys, a, a great talk with Louis Majoral and and Yvonne Rodriguez, and they're putting together a good golf tournament and funds and fundraising to get their cities, all of them, back together, and it's working. So the PGA which is not political, just a bunch of rich golfers right, that are, do, right. are doing their part. So what I'd like to try to do is do a, a camp or a clinic where we do it together, Felix, and it could be the old Mets, new Mets, or whoever players that, you know, the 10 players that I have ready to go, and we'll do that as a fundraiser for Puerto Rican in your town. Oh, we'll Felix. be grateful. We'll yeah. be grateful. And uh, we might have to do it in California because uh, Ralph doesn't like to leave the Alameda County, San well, Francisco I, Bay Area. I, 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 I'm funny about that. I told Felix in 1973 with eye contact. You think you don't like to fly. I will we'll not take a fly. Train. Felix, we'll take a train. if you guys will come here, I will treat you like kings. I'll put you up. I'll do anything. Keep me off an airplane. That's all I have. Okay. We got <laughs> boats. We'll, we'll do you like Dave Kingman, boats yes. and, and trains. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, when can we expect you? Uh, now that we've got the ground rules set, Ralph doesn't fly. Ralph loves visitors. <laughs> well, we're looking at a late April date for that because okay. I'm, I'm putting a team together to do something because, you know, opening day is kind of a focus right now for a lot of guys. Oh, yeah. The guys I'm dealing with are retired guys that want to come in and some NFL guys and some NBA guys because I'm trying to go seasonal on guys that can still walk, run, breed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Grateful goes, Lenny, put me down. I can point. I can point. Yeah. <laughs> I did nod my head. Yeah. And John Stern goes, just give me a chair. I'll get behind the plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So we, we got some characters. And then Randy Jones goes, look, we better hurry up because I, I have a, a, a broom for a golf nut club. He wants to golf. So he wants to use a broom. <laughs> So we got characters, guys, and uh, I'm looking forward to one because we all get together. It'll be a phenomenal reunion. We got the Rolling Stone magazine behind us, and I got a Hollywood producer that's going to help produce this. And hey, New York, uh, Lenny, I've got to ask you about Linda. Uh, we yeah. talked a little bit off- offline. Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, I, this is for all America, all the Lindas and all the Felixes and the all Hammers, Buddy Harrelson. Right now, when you get over 55, some say 50. 60 is the new 40 or the new 30, depending on how you take care of yourself. Linda's problems right. and a lot of women that we knew, Felix, were airline stewardesses, and they had varicose veins problems in their legs. Yeah. And a lot of them have heart problems because of flying a lot, travel a lot, and just getting aid or track. Uh-huh. All injuries, players and, and stewardesses and yeah, teachers. You're right. And it's epidemic now because yes. it's not a specialty in varicose veins treatment. 
We met a doctor that does that surgery, and it's all related to the heart. Now, obesity and food and diet and weight is all related to the heart. Everything I'm talking about is related to the heart. Weight, diet, food, varicose veins, and cardiac arrest, okay? And and if you don't take care of yourself, people, You're right, you got to walk. Take care of yourself. you got to walk every day. Yeah, you you got to get out and every day. Take care of yourself, yes. Oh, my God. It's, it's an, if you don't have to play golf, walk golf. It's a great scenery. You know, right. That's don't get the cart. The cart's going to make you eat sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> and, and drink you, beer. You got it. Beer is healthy. Wine is healthy. Not not abusing it, but it's God's gift to mankind. Yeah, you can't abuse it. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. okay. God's grace. Yep. Well, yeah, if you abuse it, you're in trouble. But if you I take it easy, you'll be okay. that cannabis falls under the same category. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, I, I'm not. I mean, that's your thing. No, no, that's your it's thing, not, Ralph. It, well, if your thing it's, is beer it's, and it's wine. medicinal use for, for medical absolutely use. Absolutely medicinal. Yeah, for and medical, any yeah. little buzz that I get is greatly appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, your, your club of the medicinal club, Yes. you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. Some people jog, walk, run, swim, fish. Some people just do um, travel. Anything you do, get out of the house, my partner. Yes, absolutely. Stay yes. active, Man, stay busy. Song. Yes, you have to. I was with Ron Uri yesterday, a Rams Hall of Fame USC Vikings player. And he's 6'8", 239 pounds, and he used to be 380 pounds. Wow. Okay? He lost a child, basically, a whole person off his body. That's and he great. said it. All his teammates are dying, he said. Lenny, I don't know. We're the, I'm 73. I'm the last one around. Wow. What are you doing? You know, I'm trying to tell my guys, my wife, my friends, my buddies what to do. They think we're miracles. He goes, we're the last. All oh, right, now, Felix, you're probably in your 60s, 70s, whatever number you want to pick. Yeah. Ralph, you're in your 60s, 70s, whatever number you want to pick. Because well, um, some people don't want to let people know what their age. But I feel like Tebow. Yeah. Well, I'm 71. <laughs> And uh, I'm proud of it because, you know, a lot of folks, as Casey Stengel used to say, don't make it this far. <laughs> they know, don't. And you can look it up. <laughs> so yeah. uh, every We got day two teammates dying like crazy, Ralph. It's crazy. And, and yeah. I feel yeah. I feel great. Pardon me? I feel great, you know. Yeah. Well, I feel great. Well, um, I see pictures of you on the Internet. You're slim and trim, and that has a lot. Both of you guys, that has a lot to do with it. Ke okay, I'm going to tell you why. Felix and I went to a clone agency in Hawaii. No one knows that. Don't let that out. <laughs> no, don't let that know. No, not anybody. Don't tell anybody, Ralph. We have doubles. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, we got lookalikes. <laughs> you're in a wheelchair in a convalescent home, sitting in the yeah. corner and drooling. Yeah, right yeah. I'm really in a home. <laughs> Felix's twin brother. That's Felix's twin brother out there. My twin uh, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I think I found a common denominator. Yeah. Um, Lenny and I both walk around in baseball caps all day. You get yeah, seventy-year-old right. men yeah. walking around in a baseball cap. There's got to be a lot of little boy in you. If, if yeah, you, you're right. Right? Am I right? You just, yes, you're right. Um, well, the hat is in. in you know, I, okay, I'm, I'm kind of a weirdo. Sherlock Holmes was one of my greatest actors and persons ever, and I'm going. You guys gonna think I'm weird. But remember the hat, the two way hat he had? Yeah. And he always wore it all the time. He always solved his cases. Franklin even if he was Muley, going to... the owner of the Warriors, <laughs> Franklin Muley wore that hat too. That I love those hats. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> you can't wear them on the tennis court though. <laughs> but but here's the deal. Felix and I have probably played for six to ten teams. So we get to pick the hat we want to wear. You know, and if you, you go global, Met, you wear Mets hat more than any of the others. You wear the Yankee hat once in a while, once in a while the Cubs. But yeah. in your pictures, you're wearing the Mets hat most of the time. Yeah, 
And that's because Felix and I get threatened by New York Met fans. That's why we <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You're right. They, <laughs> they're hard on us, Ralph. They're hard on us. They go, "What's with the What's with the Yankee hat, fella?" I'm going taking it off right now. <laughs> Felix, you have no idea how long I've waited to have you on this air. I got to find out how it came to be that you were traded from Milwaukee to the Mets. How could Milwaukee have given up on you um, and, and traded you? I don't know, Stupid. man. <laughs> that was it's the S word. The the S word. No, I'm grateful. I was glad. I was very happy that they did it. Uh, okay. Um, because, in, you know. Looking back, were you happy? Or when they made, when the trade was made, what was your reaction that, then? Oh, I'll tell you. I was very, very happy because coming to New York is like coming to uh, Puerto Rico suburbs or, you know, because so many Latinos in New York are uh, asking me to eat some rice and beans every day. Oh, hey, that nice. was, that was, that, heaven, that, that was nice. That was nice. That was hey, heaven. Hey, Ralph, we, we, you know, most guys look forward to the spread in the clubhouse, you know, after the right. game, Yankees and Mets or whatever. We look forward to the rice and beans and see this is joy. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> they had hits in them. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, listen, Ralph. Anybody that choked up on a bat halfway and got two hundred hits, I'm following him home to eat. I want to know what he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> the, the prototypical number two hitter in the entire yeah. world. I'm talking to <laughs> two number two. You, you batted number two quite a bit too in your in your career, Lenny. Is are those skills disappearing from baseball now? Do, it doesn't matter that you can get a runner over, um, hit behind them, that sort of thing, because you can't take that to the negotiating table. Is that what's contributing to to the decline of baseball as we knew it? It's not exciting to watch a guy not try to get a guy over, not try to punch a ball over the right center field and go for two, hit and run, you know, to do a squeeze play. It That stuff was exciting. Uh, that, you that you was got the first runner on, and you get him over, you run him over, you hit him over, you hit him first and third him over. It was like playing chess you know, Ouija, yes, you know. Sir. And yes, that was fun. Was it a pitch out? Is it going to be a pitch out? Do you protect the guy on a pitch out? You know, as a two hitter, the guy stealing. I had Ivan de Jesus. I would swing at the pitch out. <laughs> yeah, the I, did. <laughs> I did many times. I swung and let the bat go. <laughs> you let it go. Billy Buckner was great at that. I mean, I'm, I'm hitting in front of him, and then he, you know, and me and de Jesus, Buckner would throw the bat, get a right center field hit. We were first and third all day. <laughs> Yeah, people go, how did that happen? It's like playing billiards. That now they got a shift, man. Hey, the shift, Ralph and, and Felix. The shift's a joke. You kidding me? A uh, shift? <laughs> There's so many guys in one side. Well, you yeah. know, they work it out statistically that a guy's going to have to hit the ball uh, in a certain place, and batters don't adjust to it. Why can't you lay that? down a bunt and right. you punt and you slap and you slash? Or you, you square go around the punt and slash. You go inside, inside out. out. Right. Yep. Um, yep. Yes, that, buddy. But you can't take inside out to the negotiating table, and I think it all comes down to that. Not first anymore. Right. Everybody want to go deep. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> They want it rough. They want to go. This is an inside joke. They want to go deep on the field and deep off the field. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I think okay. I leave wait. the off the field. We'll talk about that one later. Well, that's but, an, okay, in, buddy. <laughs> an inside joke. Is that a pun? Well, the fun, the funny thing about it. Okay, the joke is you know. Home run hitters go deep, you know, they hit the long ball, and the girls like the long ball, and they go deep, and that's right, another thing. That's, right, a, right. that's a Stormy Daniels story. I won't go there. Okay. And then uh, uh, let's leave it like that because I don't know what the audience is going to be like. The, the audience <laughs> but, is just like you and I. We go okay, so okay. deep. Don't, don't worry about it. That'll be fine. They, so if they, I say Stormy Daniels, deep. everybody knows what I'm talking about, right. basically, right? Okay, it's so they're going deep. Even though we're old codgers, we have good <laughs> memories of going deep. <laughs> yes, sir. Lenny, remember me, please. No, but you got you, you got to remember this. 
single okay. kids do it more often. Hello? Yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah. Take, take your care of yourself, guys. Okay. Yeah. Isn't hey, that like I having a double? Is, anyway. I think Felix is signing off. Uh, we oh, he's got to go. We had a great Well, let me, let me do this before he goes. I want uh, people to call Felix for, you know, for camps, clinics, corporate meetings. Uh, he's in the Florida area right now. Great spokesperson to come out. Uh, you can go to his Facebook and Felix Mian and, and friend him or messenger him and get information to him. And it, it is a delight. He's got a million stories, folks. So call Felix Mian and, and get him going today. And if you don't, I'm coming to your house. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Beautiful show, Felix. Thank you for coming okay. on. Oh, thank you. Take I care. really had to touch bases with you 40 years later about your flight. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm here now. Any time, buddy. Okay, right, buddy. I'll call man. you soon, Felix. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye. All right. Hey, Bye. Lenny, a great one. Yes, sir. We will mm -hmm. wrap it up and come back okay. uh, next week. Thank you. Had a good fun. Looking forward to it. Ciao. Ciao. Salam. Salam. I really like you. All right, my man.